okay you can see let's increase some uh, amount so okay what are this warning again increase we will increase okay so system is working so fine you can also see on the series screen okay Welcome to our YouTube channel, Alexis Project, and today we will see a new hardware setup. Title name is IoT based speed control of DC motor via Android app. So you can see hardware model is as available on the screen. So, so first we will see it's working. Okay, then we, I will uh, explain to you the for all the components used in this model. So let's see the working of the model. To see operation of this model, so we will need to provide power supply to the system. Okay, so you can see adapter is already inside the exchange board, so let's turn on. And you can, you can see we will need to turn on the main switch. Okay. You can see on LCD there is no connectors, okay, because system is not uh, completely turned on. So for this we will need to connect to uh, mobile hotspot. So for this we will use this device. Okay, so you can see. Uh, we will go to mobile hotspot settings. Okay, we have entered inside hotspot settings and we will need to go to configuration. So you can see. And you will need to see all the settings. Okay, here is the password and here is the settings. Okay, you will need to enter here. Okay, after entering the so settings, you will need to click here. Okay, setting has saved and now you will need to turn on the system. Okay, so after uh, 5 to 10 seconds, you will see uh, data on LCD screen. Okay, till now we will go to the mobile Android app. Uh, okay, here is the Android app. Okay, you can see here is the setup. Okay, and it is trying to connect. Okay, so, so you can see the name of project okay okay so system has completely turned on and now you can see uh speed you can see is zero okay and a uh, pw mail is also zero that's why a lamp is not running okay and lamp is not glowing and motor is not running okay so let's uh, move this slider okay so you can see here's the slider and i will move it to 30. so you can see motor is running you can see the motor wise see motor wise motor is actually running okay and you can also see the lamp intensity and you can see speed is showing 11 percent or the total speed you can see also on the app okay 11 percent okay so let's uh, move increase the speed you can see uh, concentrated on uh, light intensity and motor speed i am going to increase see light intensity increased and motor speed also increased and you can also see all the lcd screen okay see 29 percent and here 29 percent okay pwm this is pwm value pwm maximum value is to 255 because it is 8, 8 bit long okay and uh, that's why speed is 29 percent so let's increase the speed so you can see on the see a constant no lamp inside it here okay so let's uh, increase see you can listen motor wise and again let's uh, increase the speed see listen on motor wise See also concert and all LED brightness. So power is increasing. This is 100% of power. Okay. Now let's uh, decrease the power. Okay. And also see on the light lamp in, in density. Okay. Again, the LED should increase 35%, 20%, 5%. 0%. So you can see all the system has turned off. You can also see on the LCD screen. Okay, you can see. Let's increase some uh, amount. So, okay. What are this warning? Again, increase. We will increase. Okay, so system is working so fine. You can also see on the LCD screen. okay working so fine so let's just see the component used in this model here we will turn off and let's just see component used so you can see 
here is the main switch and it is used to turn on and off the entire system and uh, this is the input jack okay it is used to provide a 12 volt of power supply 12 volt and 2 ampere power supply to the system to run it so since this is the uh, voltage regulator uh, as you know this system runs on 5 volt okay to reduce 12 volt uh, from 12 volt to 5 volt this regulator is used this provide 5 volt power to this and it takes a 12 volt power supply okay and the uh, next thing you can see here is a uh, ESP826 model uh, sorry ESP826 model uh, it, it is the brain of the system okay and it is also removable you can see for maintenance or study purpose you can see it is a uh, ESP32 and let's uh, place it again and next component is uh, you can see one capacitor is here because uh, motor is a pure on to load okay so it, it can disturb a lot to our power supply so to reduce that amount we are using this power uh, capacitor okay in parallel to the motor this is the motor outlet you can uh, easily see lamp we are just using to see you okay visually the power transfer to the motor okay the LCD screen here you can also understand the LCD operation that it is used to see the data so it is also removable you can see okay and for maintenance or study purpose and just replace it again Okay, this is used to, to adjust the LCD contrast. This is the MOSFET. Okay, MOSFET is used to adjust the power amount, uh, amount of power going to the motor using the PWM signal coming from this. Okay, remember this is used to adjust the power of going to the motor. MOSFET uh, using in the PWM mode. Section is uh, for the students. The students can write their name here using the pen or pencil. Okay, here, here, here. Okay, and uh, here's the project name. And here, a student can write their guide name using the pen or the sketch. So let's see back side of this model. So you can see this is the back side. Okay. This is also used to adjust the power. Okay, sudden changes in the power supply. Okay, it is a big capacitor here. This is the 705 regulator. This is some MOSFET back side. This is a little bit diode to production uh, to production of the MOSFET. This is the main switch. These are the junction 5 voltage, uh, 3 voltage junction you can consider. This is the LCD contrast adjustment. This is the back of LCD. Okay, now this is the uh, node MCU backside you can see, and here is the backside of uh, capacitor. Okay, and here is the backside of motor outlet. Okay, and these are the stands. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If any student want to purchase this model, they can contact us through the given number in the video description. Thank you so much for watching the video.